Hi, this is Dr. Ray Tahiri, and today we have another screencast on MIPA tutorial. This is the last uh, tutorial on integration series. Today we talk about integration in uh, cylindrical and spherical coordinates. Just to give you a little background about these two coordinates, uh, a cylindrical coordinate is nothing but a polar coordinate that we talked before. Then we add one more dimension, which is the height. So in that case, we have this point, which is a polar, we have R and theta, and then we add a height in order to make it from 2D to 3D. Obviously, the conversion is X equal to R cosine theta, and Y is equal to R sine theta, and Z is the same Z. Now, if I have a function uh, volume, R and H, and this is the volume of a cylindrical shape, so we know it's pi, multiply by r square multiply by h so this is the actual uh, equation here so the volume of uh, a cylindrical shape is equal to the cross section area multiplied by the height so if I want to find the volume of a cylindrical shape with the radius of 2 and the height of 5 simply the answer would be 20 pi I can simply write the same thing using an integration uh, and the integration would be simply r and I do a triple integration here so the next one is r then I call it z and then uh, theta these are exchangeable so as long as I have the correct limits is the same so maybe I go here and I explain a little bit here so when you have a cylindrical coordinate so the dd which is the differentiation of the volume is r d r d z d theta so this is the function we have so if i want to find the volume of a cylindrical shape so i have to do a triple integral from what i have here which i wrote it here so my radius start from 0 to 2 my height start from 0 to 5 and let's assume that my uh, angle is still 0 to 2 pi, which is the complete cylindrical shape. I go from 0 to 1 pi, which is a half cylindrical shape. And if I press enter, you can see that the volume is half of the volume of a complete cylindrical shape. What if I want to find the mass of that? So in that case, I have to have the row, the density, multiply the volume. So assuming the density is 2 uh, gram per cube a centimeter this multiplied by r and then I will do a triple integration so one two three and here is r here is z and here is theta and so the limit of mar my r is from zero to two the limit of my z is 0 to 5 and the angle is 0 to I would call it pi again so this is the mass of a half cylindrical shape with a radius of 2 with a height of 5 I made from uh, a material that it has 2 gram per cube centimeter so you press enter and the answer will be 20 pi which is correct so 2 multiplied by the volume but now the question is what if the density is not constant you have a material as you changes the shape or the radius or the angle or uh, the height the density changes in that case the density is a function of z r and theta so let's say the density is equal to 2z it means the further I go, higher I go, the density is going to be higher. The material becomes denser. And of course, if I want to find the volume here, this is what I uh, write here. We don't need actually this here. We go, and now I uh, select here, and I do a triple integration here. One, two, three. And the first one is R, then is Z, then is theta. And now what we have here is so the r is from z uh, from 0 to 2 the height is from 0 to 5 and let's just stick with the half uh, uh, cylindrical shape 
is pi. Okay, so this is my integration. As you can see, the mass is significantly higher. I would like to use uh, the previous method I explained using the tool. Go to a task to browse and you go to calculus multivariables. You go to integration, you go to multiple integration, and then you go to the cylindrical coordinate and you insert it here. So this is what I have. And at this stage I write here 2 multiplied by z. So this is my actual uh, density. So r, this is the z. z start from 0 to 5. Press enter each time. And r is from 0 to 2. And theta is from 0 to pi. Make sure all of them are correct. And now I enter here and here. And we go final stage is the stepwise uh, evaluation. We get the same answer here as we got before. So this is as far as uh, the cylindrical coordinate concerned. So now imagine that, of course, your density could be even a function of not only z but r and theta. It would be more complex, but still you would get an answer. Now, talking about the spherical coordinates, uh, we have three variables. So we have a distance or a vector, which is represented by r or rho. And we have two angles. One angle that this vector makes with the z axis, and the other one, the one it makes with uh, the x. So basically, the image of this on x y plane is a vector here and the angle that that image uh, makes with x is theta so well, by these three uh, variables we can simply define a point in the space and in terms of the volume dv is equal to R or rho square, and uh, please don't uh, confuse this rho with the density. This is the length of the vector. We call it R, perhaps better. Uh, sine theta. So rho square or R square sine theta d rho or R d phi d theta. And let's just write these things here. See how it goes. Now let's again volume uh, of a sphere shape is four divided by three pi pi mm, multiply by r I don't know why it doesn't do it now it's, sometimes it happens here it doesn't want to cooperate so I can delete it here let's just go next line and start here v oh actually Okay. This is something that sometimes happens in and four divided by three pi pi multiply by r to the power three. So this is actually a volume of a sphere shape. So if I have a sphere shape with the radius of 5, this would be the volume. So we can do the same thing here. Uh, we write here the volume, remember that it has a rho square multiplied by sine phi. And I do the triple integration here, 1, 2, 3. The next one is phi, uh, sorry, uh, rho. And then this one is phi, and this one is theta. And of course, uh, in this case here, so uh, the rho is from 0 to 5. 
So the next one, which is the angle it makes with uh, the z is from 0 to pi and of course the angle it makes with x is from 0 to 2 multiplied by pi and the answer is very much the same obviously so what I did here now simply I calculate the volume of uh, sphere with the radius of 5 from 0 to 5 so the phi changes from obviously from 0 to pi so it cannot be 2 pi if I write 2 pi here the answer will be 0 because these two cancel each other and the theta which is the angle between the image of my vector on x and y uh, plane is from 0 to 2 pi complete now the same question I would like to raise and what if the density is not constant what if the density actually changes as I increase the radius it means at the center perhaps it has zero density and as I go a little more and more it's going to be denser and denser and the surface has the highest density what if the density is a function of the radius so the function of rho so I have rho multiplied by rho square multiplied by sine phi so this one obviously is this part is the volume uh, sorry let me go back here this part is the volume and I don't know what is this guy here okay this is the volume and this one is a function and again please don't confuse this rho uh, with the density so the density itself is a function of the radius the further the radius is the more denser this material uh, becomes so now I want to do a triple integration here I go here to expression one two three and we go from same thing from 0 to 5 we go from 0 to pi and here from 0 to 2 multiplied by pi and of course here I have to change this uh, to rho next one is phi and next one is theta and enter so you can see the answer is significantly higher obviously because the material becomes uh, much denser so this much and let's just quickly go to the other method and the other method we go to the task we go to browse and we go to multivariable calculation integration uh, multiple integration and spherical and then I enter it here I just simply, simply put these values here. This one is rho itself. So my rho changes from x0 to 5. This is the radius. Sorry, it's 15, should be 5. Okay. And this is 0 to pi. And my theta is from 0 to 2 pi. And let's see what is the integration here. That is correct. This is what we get before. And here enter again. And we go to the stepwise approximation as the same answer here 1963.5 as we had it here 1962.5. So this would be the end of. Uh, integration of course there are much more involved in integration I don't want to go to that detail those who want to push the envelope a little uh, further you can go and explore the wide and vast uh, capability of X uh, maple in doing integration thank you very much